This is Nina Curley reporting for WAMDA. I'm here at the fifth annual MIT Entrepreneurship uh, Workshop um, with Pascal of Tour Twist. Pascal, how are you? Hello, fine, thank you. How are you? Good. So tell me a bit about Tour Twist. What do you do? Okay, so Tour Twist is a project that started in Lebanon. Uh, we are creating a social platform that will uh, focus on responsible tourism. Uh, on this platform, we will create a network of local amateur guides who are based in rural areas starting in Lebanon. So we want to connect tourists who are looking to plan their next vacation uh, to people in the rural areas that will help them plan their vacation and visit their towns and give them an authentic cultural experience. So instead of spending their vacation in the capital where most of the tourist money is spent to move that to the rural areas in, uh, in hope of helping them and uh, helping the economic growth there. So for both locals and tourists? Yes, so we're, we'll be providing the tourists first with a cheaper experience, so they won't be going with the big travel agencies, the typical uh, tours, tour buses. So we'll provide them with a more cultural and authentic experience. And the guides, they're not professional guides, they're amateur guides, that, but they know their region, they know what they usually do every day, and they will be getting extra income from the tourists. As well as all, you know, craft shops or uh, local grocery stores and uh, all these locals who are working in their hometowns, they'll be benefiting for, from extra revenue. So you'll partner specifically with, um, you know, con uh, with uh, businesses in these rural areas? Okay. And how did you get inspired to create this? Actually, it was from personal experiences. We also we always hear from people who have visited Lebanon, and when we ask them, "Oh, what did you see?" and their answers are always uh, very, you know, typical answers of like the top five must-see places in Lebanon. And mostly, they stay in Beirut and go to, uh, you know, very touristy spots. So uh, we got, you know, this idea of, oh, I wish, you know, we always get this feeling, oh, I wish I could take them, you know, and show them my hometown and what we really do. Or, uh, for example, a real experience, uh, you know, picking apples or uh, picking uh, grapes in the vineyards or something like that. So we thought... We can't do it by ourselves, being four or five people. We can connect them to many people who feel exactly the same and who are residing in various towns in Lebanon that are really worth seeing and experiencing. And do you see this as a means of empowering small businesses in rural areas throughout the Arab world? Of course. I mean, everyone who... Uh, now, for example, let's say a small coffee shop or a place where women bake their daily bread. Instead of just selling for a couple of loyal customers every day, uh, we will be exposing them to uh, more revenue from tourists. And uh, not just foreigners, even Lebanese who haven't been to some parts of Lebanon. Um, how do you plan to market this? Do you have a website? How are you marketing it? Uh, mostly, we have just launched a page uh, on our, our website, tourtwist.com. Uh, tour uh, we will be using social media, of course, online marketing. Uh, but we're also looking at uh, partnering with major websites, you know, such as uh, TripAdvisor or Lonely Planet. And we will be benefiting from their users and uh, we'll try to find a way for them to, uh, you know, to feature us and so they can drive users to our website. And how has uh, the workshop gone here? Did you get any feedback from the judges about your idea? What did they say? Of course, it was very good. It was, uh, you know, inspirational from the speeches, but also meeting the judges, especially yesterday with the 60 uh, judges and the pitches. Uh, we got lots of feedback. Uh, they can point out, uh, you know, things that you never thought of or uh, uh, give you uh, objective feedback or that... that since you're really into your idea, you don't really think about. So that is very beneficial for us to, to know what's, what we can improve in our plan. What's next? How do you plan to improve? So right now we're focusing on uh, collecting the content, on uh, recruiting local guides in, uh, in Lebanon. Uh, we're hoping to launch uh, the website, the portal, in uh, three months. And uh, hopefully this summer season will be operating. So by the end of the year, if the 
the model seems to be uh, proves to be successful, hopefully to expand in the region. Great. My only hope is that it just doesn't make small villages be suddenly become very touristy. Of course, of course. That's why we don't want anyone to be able to take the tourists to any town of their choice. We only want locals to take them to their town. So uh, we will be limiting the number, you know, so uh, we will be maybe cooperating with two or three uh, boys or girls in that town. So we also want to preserve these, uh, you know, their hidden gems, we don't want them to stay like that, but we also want to uh, help people benefit from them with extra revenue. I see, so it becomes exclusive to avoid the lonely planet effect. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So we want it to still be separate, to still be an authentic experience and not a very commercial one. Great. Well, I look forward to seeing what you guys do. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you're welcome to use our services anytime soon. <laughs> Great. Thank you.